This is a 1964 Chevy Chevelle two-door hardtop Malibu. Um, this is a car that I sold back in 2010 to the previous owner, and he just gave us a call back and uh, decided he wasn't using it enough, so we bought it back from him. Um, very solid car. It was a driver quality paint job back when I sold it to him, and um, it still shows well. So the paint job's at least, I'm guessing, probably 15 years old, if I had a guess. Um, the body is very straight on the car. Um, just a nice turnkey driver. It's riding on a very nice set of American Racing Chrome Torque Thrust wheels with good rubber all the way around. It's powered by a great run in 350 four barrel with headers. Pretty much bone stock, no power steering, no power brakes. It's got an Elderbrock intake and an uh, Elderbrock carburetor. Just a nice, simple undercarriage. Um, that's all been detailed out very nicely. Under the hood looks nice and clean. Nothing uh, overly restored, but looks like uh, nice driver quality. Sorry about my shadow in the way this morning. Um, front hood alignment's in good shape all the way across the front to the back. It sticks up on the back hood hinge just a little bit back there. Same thing on the passenger side. Gap's a little tighter on the passenger than the driver, but uh, still has a nice even gap from front to back. As far as our paint goes, and I, like I said, the paint wasn't perfect back when I had it the first time, but it's got a lot of little paint imperfections, little, little blisters all along the side of this hood. Not real sure what we got going on here, but it does have some blisters there. Um, front of the wheel in front by the fenders nice and solid no blisters there as we come down here to the lower fenders all nice and solid rocker panels good lower quarters all good we do have a few paint chips as you can see right on the top of that rocker where it meets the door it does have the dual chrome mirrors um, all of the stainless appears to be original so it's got the Malibu stainless um, from the front to the back and you have some dings, there's a bunch of little dings and scratches and stuff in that original trim. So, uh, no blisters in front of that wheel. Nice and solid quarter panel. Over the wheel is all solid. Behind the wheel looks nice and solid. Just a really solid car, all in general, except for those little blisters and that hood. Um, as we open the doors, the original corner of the door is in excellent shape. Rubbers are nice and pliable. The whole interior appears to me that it's original 106,000 miles on the interior. Uh, door panel shows a little age. It's a blue interior. Um, I don't see any rips or tears in it. You have uh, just a little crinkle in here on the top where it goes underneath that chrome. Some of our silver here is starting to peel. Armrest has a few little cracks in it. Just that kind of stuff. But very presentable. Um, dash itself is a painted dash, so that's perfect shape. Carpet's nice. Uh, body by Fishers appear to be the originals. Uh, back seat matches the front seat perfectly. Like I said, in my estimation, I'm, I'm guessing this is all original upholstery. Uh, back door panels are in good shape. Uh, armrests are a little discolored, but in good shape. No rips or tears in the seats, in the back seat anywhere I can tell. Headliner's original. It's in excellent shape, no wrinkles or nothing like that. I don't see any tears. Visors look nice. Door shuts nice, and you got a nice even gap from top to bottom. Now inside our trunk is all painted white, body color as well. There's no rust anywhere in the trunk. This car sounds great. It's back bumper is in excellent shape. It's older, but it has great chrome on it still. We've got a couple little scratches here in the corners. So it ain't new, but it's still very presentable. Um, we've got a little bit of a paint cracking, which is pretty common on this uh, back panel underneath the bumper. And it's kind of like that on both sides. Um, as far as our trunk lid chrome and stuff's original, so we do have some pits but all in all, very presentable.
When the previous, when I sold this back in 2010, previous owner put some new gauges in it, tacking gauges, and uh, just went through it again, made sure everything was working. Very straight body on the driver's side. As we go down the chrome, um, quarter panel chrome really looks really nice on this side, except for it probably should have that black repainted in there again, touched up. Uh, behind the rear wheel, there's no blisters there. Over the wheel well looks good. Um, I'm not gonna call this a blister. If it is, it's very minute. You can just see it's got a little chip with surface rust there. Other than that, the rocker panel, corner of the door, um, lower fender, everything really looks good on this car. But remember, it does have some paint. I didn't point out all the little paint chips. I mean, we got some paint scratches, something that come in contact. Sorry. With this fender right here, it's got some scratches there. And it's got some scratches on the top of this fender right here. And that goes across this hood. I don't know if it was a tarp or something here. It's got a scratches on that top of that fender. We've also got a paint scratch here where someone probably took off the bumper and put it back on. I got a scrape there. The overall appearance of this car is excellent. You know, I'd call it a great 10-footer. You get up close, you're going to see some scratches, stuff like that. Um, same thing, when they painted it, and this was done years ago, um, they painted these GM areas here, but just along these edges, it's got some surface rust where the paint is thin. Window goes up and down nice. Our rubber here, quarter rubber is nice. Window felts look good. It's got 106,299 miles. I'm pretty sure that's 106, judging by the uh, condition of this interior. In our glove box, we have the original warranty, owner protection plan information, which is the original. Um, yeah, it's a GM, 99 GM Arctic White is the color on the car, it says. It's got the uh, instruction manuals for the radio, owner's manual. Like I said, the kick panels, carpet, everything's really in good shape. Our gas gauge works, horn works. Wipers work and park correctly. Uh, it's got SunPro tack and gauges. Um, it's running about 180 um, as far as our temperature after it's warmed up. Oil pressure. Running somewhere on that 30, 35. It's got a digital radio. Fits in the hole perfectly to match the original. Um, the only thing that doesn't work that I can see on here is the factory clock and the heater fan. The heater controls all move freely, but the fan is not working. Now, it's got the original steering wheel on it. Um, so power steering, to me, is not a big issue at all. It steers excellent. You can still make a nice tight corner with that big steering wheel. Shocks and suspension feels good. Just hit some bumps there, nice and quiet. Now there's our kick down on the transmission. Um, shifts right down to passing gear. Gonna kind of play around with this tranny once and see if we got a two speed or a factory two speed or somebody changed it to a three speed. Yeah, looks to me like somebody's upgraded this to a three speed. There's our first gear, second gear, third gear. So we do have a three speed turbo 350. Brakes are perfect, absolutely no pull left or right when I hit those brakes. Now we got manual brakes, the pedal's way up on it. it goes nice and straight. Might be reading a little fast. Uh, we'll see here once we get around this car. 
showed we were doing 70 there and I don't think we were quite going 70, but. Probably not too far off. Says we're doing 65, I'm thinking we're doing more like 60. Um, as far as the front suspension goes, really goes down the road nice. We got kind of a windy day here, but uh, no hands on the wheels, going straight down the road. Maybe a slight pull left, but the wind's blowing that way too. So I'd say it does not need an alignment. Transmission seems to kick down and shift well. Try our brakes again at high speeds. Yeah. I would not worry about disc brakes or power brakes on this car. Brakes, excellent. No need for an upgrade there. This is a really nice driving Malibu that everything works besides the heater and the clock. Dual exhaust sounds really nice also.